Callisto is the second largest moon of the planet Jupiter after Ganymede and is nicknamed Jupiter 4. In the entire solar system, Callisto with its diameter of 4,820 kilometers occupies third place among all the moons after Ganymede and Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Callisto is classified as an icy moon and its surface has the second highest number of craters of all the celestial bodies in our solar system after Saturn's moon Phoebe. Callisto was named after the nymph Callisto, a lover of the most powerful Greek god Zeus. The name is derived from the Greek Kaliste and means the most beautiful. Legend has it that Callisto and her son Arcus were transformed into bears and taken to the starry sky. Callisto was discovered together with Io, Europa, and Ganymede, the other three moons of Jupiter, in 1610 by the Italian scholar Galileo Galilei. All four moons are therefore also called the Galilean moons. Unlike Galileo, who could only gaze at the moon Callisto from a distance with his telescope, the photos of NASA's space probes allow us a closer look at the celestial bodies in our solar system. The following video will introduce you to the moon Callisto of the planet Jupiter. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Surface the surface of Callisto is littered with impact craters whose density is greater only on Saturn's moon Phoebe. The number of craters on Jupiter's moon Callisto is so high that each newly formed crater overlaps an old one. These are the ones that mainly shape the environment. But some ring-shaped elevations, which accompanied the impacts, can also be seen on the surface of Callisto. In the landscapes of the moon, one looks in vain for higher mountain ranges or volcanoes. Scientists assume that the high proportion of ice with a simultaneously low proportion of rock is responsible for the missing elevations on Callisto. Over the course of time, the ice crust gives away again and again, and levels thereby possibly developed craters and mountain ranges. The surface of Callisto is 4 billion years old and has been exposed to largely constant conditions since the existence of the solar system. As a result, the moon is geologically inactive and there is no evidence of plate tectonics. Thus, the geological development of Callisto took a simpler course and was completed within a short period of time. The surface of the moon consists of a layer of ice up to 150 kilometers thick under which there is a 150 to 200 kilometer deep ocean of salt water. This assumption is based on the measurements of the space probe Galileo. The absence of any fractures on the side of the moon opposite the crater formed by the Earth's interior is a further indication of the subterranean ocean. The liquid water has absorbed the shock waves produced by an impact. On massive celestial bodies like the Earth's moon, on the other hand, Fractures are found on the side of the planet opposite the craters. Images of the moon Callisto from a great distance show areas of varying brightness over its entire surface. It's assumed that these areas are cleaner ice and therefore stand out from the dirty ice crust of Callisto. Inner Structure The interior of Callisto is similar in structure to the Neptune moon Triton or Saturn's moon Titan. Callisto consists of 60% silicate rock and the remaining 40% is water ice. The proportion of silicate increases with depth. The existence of a subterranean ocean is more likely if the water contains a small amount of ammonia, which prevents the water from freezing. If there were no ammonia, the ice layer on the surface would be up to 300 kilometers thick. Data from the Galileo space probe suggests that if Callisto is a hydrostatic equilibrium, its interior would be composed of compressed rock and ice. The density and moment of inertia of the moon indicate the existence of a small silicate core in the center of Callisto. The radius of such a core cannot exceed 600 kilometers in diameter. 
A new analysis of data from the Galileo space probe in 2011 assumes that the Moon is not in hydrostatic equilibrium. This is confirmed by the gravitational data from the probe. Crater Heimdall Heimdall is one of the largest impact craters on the Galilean moon Callisto. It has a diameter of 210 kilometers and is located near the South Pole. The crater was first discovered on images from the Voyager probe and its existence was later confirmed by photos from the Galileo space probe, which show the crater as a bright spot. Heimdall was named after the god of light in Nordic mythology, and the naming was accepted by the International Astronomical Union in 2000. Crater Adlinda On Jupiter's moon Callisto, the Crater Adlinda occupies third place among the largest impact craters on the moon. Adlinda measures a diameter of about 1,000 kilometers, is located in the southern hemisphere, and is overlaid by the relatively young impact crater Lofin. Its deposits cover about 30% of Adlinda and prevent a detailed investigation. The ring-shaped structure around Adlinda's crater is barely visible in pictures. The name of the crater was borrowed from Inuit mythology. Crater Asgard With its diameter of 1,600 kilometers, Asgard Crater is the second largest annular impact crater of Jupiter's moon Callisto. In images, Asgard can be recognized as a bright dot surrounded by concentric circles. In its center, it is overlaid by the dome-shaped Crater Doe, and in its northern part is the 600-kilometer-long Utgard Crater, which in turn is overlaid by the Asgard Crater. Images show other impact craters in the vicinity of the crater, which can be recognized by bright spots. Above is the Burr Crater, and on the right, the Tornersuck Crater, Above the Tarnersuk Crater is the Omal Crater. On the right side of the Burr Crater, and below the Tarnersuk Crater, is the Njord Crater. The crater Asgard also owes its name to Nordic mythology. Asgard is the residence of the Aesin dynasty of gods. Crater Valhalla The largest impact crater in our solar system is on Jupiter's moon Callisto. In photos, the bright inner crater with a diameter of 360 kilometers is particularly striking. If you add the concentric circles surrounding it, which accompanied the formation of the crater, the diameter of the crater is 3,800 kilometers. The impact crater was discovered as early as 1979 by the Voyager space probe, and it lies on a quadrant facing Jupiter, slightly above the equator. Scientists assume that the ring system around the crater was formed by cooled rock. Geologically, the crater of Valhalla can be divided into three zones. The inner zone has a diameter of 360 kilometers and with its round structure forms the impact point. Here, the surface structure is quite smooth and appears spotty. The high resolution images of the Galileo space probe show the protruding rock and the surrounding plains very clearly. The plains are shown dark and the rock light. The zone of the ridges and the depressions encloses the inner zone. These mountain ridges run from the inside to the outside and have steep flanks. The rock walls turned out to be light-colored rock, which is surrounded by dark material. These insights into the structure of the Valhalla impact crater are only made possible by the high-resolution images from the Galileo space probe. The terrain in this zone has a very rugged structure. The depressions are located further away from the center of the crater and are enclosed by the winding mountain ridges, which have a width of 20 kilometers. This zone extends to a distance of 950 kilometers from the center of the Valhalla crater. Between the radius of 1500 to 1900 kilometers is the Tro zone. It has winding rock formations that can be up to 30 kilometers wide and as in the inner zone, consist of excellent rock. There is no evidence of volcanic activity within this zone. Neither on the low-resolution images of the Voyager probe nor in the high-resolution images of the Galileo space probe can lava flows be detected. All structures within the crater of Valhalla are of the tectonic origin or formed by the impact of an object. The Valhalla crater was probably formed by a massive impact. 
the outer lithosphere was penetrated and the object penetrated the underlying material. Data suggests that it could have been ice or an ocean. The annular circles around the crater were formed by ice or water flowing into the cracks of Callisto's crust caused by the impact. Estimates put the age of the Valhalla crater at two to four billion years old. The name Valhalla comes from Nordic mythology and refers to the Hall of Warriors, where brave fighters found their resting place after their death. Jipul Katina Jipul Katina refers to a chain of craters on Jupiter's moon Callisto, which has a length of 620 kilometers. The diameter of the largest crater is 40 kilometers. The crater formation is the longest of all formations of this type found on Callisto. The crater chain was probably created by an object that broke up during a close flyby by the tidal forces of Jupiter. We hope this video has sparked your interest in other planets. In the future, we will present you more videos about many planets of our solar system. What is your opinion on this topic? Did you like the video? Please use the comment function for suggestions. We'd love to hear from you.